GripSense uses touchscreens and inertial sensors of smartphones to infer users' postures, like whether the device is on a flat surface or being handled with an index finger or left or right thumb. It can also sense the amount of pressure a user exerts on the touchscreen without adding any new sensors to the device. Users handle their devices in a number of grips. GripSense combines a number of phenomena to detect hand posture. Because of the shape and position of the thumb, users often draw an arc when using their thumbs. These arcs have distinctly different shapes for both thumbs. However, while using index finger, there is no such arc. Shape and position of the thumb also leads to different touch sizes when we touch different areas of the screen in different grips. The touch size on the same side as the thumb will be smaller than the touch size on the far side. Combining these phenomena together leads to a robust grip detection system that infers between different hand postures within first five interaction steps. This means posture is detected before the user even completes two words while typing. GripSense uses a novel combination of gyroscope and vibration motor to infer pressure applied on the screen. We trigger the vibration motor when a user touches the screen. Here on the right you can see the pressure values derived from a pressure sensor and on the left you can see the vibration information of the device. It is evident that the vibration of the device decreases with increase in pressure. While using devices with one hand, users often feel the need for a robust and intuitive alternate input method. Here, users zoom into a map by pressing hard and light touch helps the user zoom out. This can be useful in a number of postures and situations. Here, GripSense is used on a table to toggle between lower and upper case. User presses hard to enter uppercase letters whereas less pressure is used to enter lowercase letters. Using similar techniques of pressure detection, GripSense also infers pressure exerted on the body of the device. We use this to measure squeeze and grasp gestures. It can be used to silence a phone in pocket by merely squeezing it. <laughs>